Alright guys, you're here with Mizuki, and today I'm going to be doing a nice little Twixter tutorial for y'all. Um, this will work for in real life videos, combat arms, that's what I'm doing here. It's a first person shooter for those of you that don't know. Call of Duty, and this is going to be in Sony Vegas. I'm doing it in Pro 11, but you can do it for any version you have Twixter, and it's the exact same. So what you're going to notice is in my clip, I have 60 frames per second. That's really what you're going to need. Um, that's... It's, it's what I I very much recommend that that's 30 frames per second it is but it kind of gets choppy or you're gonna have to do a really slow speed because basically the frames per second is like the amount of frames your camera captures per second so the more frames the more you can drag it out and the more precise every single slow motion is so I'm gonna show you a little example this is an edit I did it's I overuse I use Twixter quite a bit in it but I mean Twixter is an overused effect and it's only it's good when you do use it good and then that's when it's that's generally when it's okay so see there, Twixter there, might be a little laggy because I'm playing on this, but you can see the nice Twixter, how nice the gun comes up and stuff, slow motion there, and it's definitely a lot more efficient than dragging a clip out, okay, so let's get started, we're going to take uh, your clip here that you have, and we're just going to drop it in, and you want to zoom out if you're really zoomed in, but if you have black bars is the biggest thing in a montage or anything, you're going to want to get rid of those, so maintain aspect ratio, if not you're just going to have to manually crop it, and you will just have to go like that to Get rid of the black bars so we're going to put that back and what you're going to do is delete the video track so let's right click on the track and hit delete all right so now we have our clip and you can watch it here it's just me i get like a nice flash scope headshot it's nothing special but it'll do for this purpose of this video so i'm um, right here we're just going to scroll through frame by frame until we find where we want a twixter and we're going to go right before i scope in so maybe three frames there so zoom in just by scrolling your mouse up or hitting, where is it, I don't even remember, the plus sign. And you're just going to hit S and just go 1, 2, 3, S is to split, S again. So then what you're going to do is whenever you drag this out, you'll see the blue bar appearing over. That's how long you're dragging it out for. So you're going to drag it out to maybe 2 seconds. That's a very long twixter, but I mean, that'll do for the purpose of this video. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to put it to... It's pretty much wherever you want. Generally, you'll have music here that you're syncing it to or something, but for the purpose of making this go quicker, I'm just going to do one second of Twixter. Fuck it. I'm doing two seconds. <laughs> Alright. So, you're going to go into your video effects. Find Twixter Pro. Not Twixter. Twixter Pro. I don't know if there's much of a difference, but I have a preset here that I'm going to give to you guys. So, you go drag it onto your clip that you want, and you see all the effects. When you copy down all these here I'll just leave it so you guys can see all these you're gonna type it and you're gonna save it as a preset so then you don't have to worry I put point zero eight as a speed or point eight percent as a speed because that's that generally does okay that's uh that's a good nice slow twixer and if you ever need it it's faster or slower you can always adjust the speed so we're gonna go down sorry the I'm on a MacBook using my drivers are really messed up so that's gonna look really weird to you guys all right, one second. Let's go back in here. Yeah, my driver's really screwed because I'm boot camping Windows. So, yeah, here all there, and that's all you need. That's all you need to mess with. So, I'm gonna give you a look at that. All right, should be good. You can pause the video on there if you didn't catch that. But anyways, what you're gonna do now that it's on, you are going to drag it out. So you're gonna match up with that clip, and you're just gonna. You'll notice when you try and play it. It just lags out, it's much too slow, but you're just going to highlight it, hold shift and hit B, it's called building a dynamic preview, and my computer definitely managed that quite well, so that's perfect, we're going to go and we're going to hit play, and it's got a nice slow motion to it, it's maybe a little too slow, maybe if it looks like it's a still image, you might have a too slow, we might need to rebuild a preview, but we're going to up the percent, we're going to put up maybe 1% here, if that's, and we're just going to, yep, so there we go, build a preview. It might take longer for you because my computer is rather fast. I'm going to play it, and you can see that nice movement there. Just a perfect, and especially when you have the music or whatever, you're just syncing it to the music. A nice build up. Um, you can even make that a little faster if you wanted. So we're going to go up to 1.5 and you just keep tampering with the speed until you have what you want. And that's pretty much all it is to it. So after this, oh, now she's taking a while. But. That's pretty much all it is. You just gotta remember, try and record 60 frames per second if you can. Uh, if you can't, it's not a big deal. It's very possible. Sorry if my fan starts going right now. Um, Macs are really bad for their fan volume, so 
Yep, that should be good right there. So we're going to play it, and look at that slow motion. There's no ripple, there's no liquidy effect, it's just a nice, perfect slow motion. That's all there really is to it, guys. If you guys want some more basic editing tutorials, maybe leave a comment below what you'd like to see. So, without that, other further ado, then, yeah, just subscribe, like, and comment. So, peace out.